Hey, it's Dave. Today I wanted to chat about an investment tactic or strategy that's a bit high risk and high reward. This isn't a strategy just for anyone, and it's not one that pops up all the time. So let's dive into my perspective. You see, when a groundbreaking product hits the market, Wall Street often lags behind in recognizing its potential. Why? It's because the landscape is cluttered with new technologies and everyone is trying to push their own product. And Wall Street struggles to sort the winners from the losers. They lean toward a wait and see approach, and they prefer to study the financial impact of new products before investing. And I'm generalizing here, of course, because there are always early investors, venture capitalists, seed investors, et cetera. But I'm mostly talking about institutional investors in Wall Street, the people who significantly influence the pricing of larger market cap stocks. An example that comes to mind is that of the iPhone. When it was first launched, it was unquestionably a game changer, a pocket sized computer that completely reinvented the concept of a phone. But Wall Street was late to the party. The stock didn't take off until the iPhone started influencing Apple's financial statements. And most investors are completely fine with that. Tesla's Model 3 is another case in point. It was a great product, but it wasn't until the Model Y started impacting Tesla's financials in a significant way that Wall Street started to take notice. Yet, Tesla growing from the Model 3 to the Model Y wasn't a huge leap for the company, and the risk was minimal. But most investors still chose to wait and see, even if it meant missing out on a lower market cap valuation. Now, let's consider Tesla's Optimus robot. Most institutional investors will likely play the wait and see game because it's a new product category with an unproven market size. They want to see the robot's impact on revenue, margins, and profits before investing. But this window presents an intriguing opportunity for those who can accurately judge the potential of new technologies before they show up on the financial statements of a company. This is a risky venture, of course. You might believe a product is the next big thing and invest heavily only to find out that it's not a sustainable growth item. But if you can accurately predict the future of a new technology, there's a significant opportunity for investment. This approach applies to many revolutionary products. Early on, people doubted Google and Facebook that they could turn a profit, but they proved a lot of the naysayers wrong. However, sometimes the hype around a company can outpace its actual worth. Just because a revolutionary product hasn't shown up in a company's financial statements doesn't necessarily mean the stock is undervalued. The hype could make it fairly priced for the risk involved. And remember, it's a high risk endeavor, so many new technologies and so called revolutionary products don't even pan out. That's why I see Tesla's foray into the humanoid robot market and full self driving markets as an interesting opportunity. These are new technologies with huge, enormous potential that haven't yet shown up on Tesla's profit loss statement. But if you're confident that they'll generate billions in profits, then I think it's worth considering the investment. This strategy isn't suitable for everyone, but it's an interesting thought for those who are willing to take a calculated risk and believe in their ability to predict the future of technology. It requires a deep understanding of technology and a willingness to take on risk. It's not an easy task, but it's one that could pay off if you're right. All right, thanks for listening. Hope you found this discussion helpful. We'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.